Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, earlier this morning, JP got a data download that provided us with a bunch of information about this new Peton battle game mode that's going to be dropping in the near future. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys everything that we currently know about Peton battle to uh, give you guys a general idea of what to expect once it comes out. Now honestly, when I first heard about this game mode, I thought it was going to be super, super basic. You know, I thought it was going to be very similar to the adventures system in Legends where you just choose an adventure and then you set it and forget it for like a few hours and then come back and collect your rewards. But this mode seems to be a lot more, I guess, complex, much more intricate than I was expecting. There's like a bunch of different characters you can use. There's uh, type advantages, different attributes, different rarities for the stickers or the characters, and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, we're going to get into all of that in this video. But before we do, I do want to be extra clear that uh, we're you know still very early you know, in the process of collecting information. And there's a lot of things that we still don't know, I think, about this Peton battle. And since the mode actually isn't here yet, it's kind of hard to get a full picture of what it will look like just based on what we have here. So in the near future, in like a couple days, I might have to make a follow up video just to clarify a few things. But once again, this should give you a general idea of what to expect. All right. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. And we'll start from the very top here. It says here at Dokkan Battle, we have summarized the specifications of the upcoming Peton Battle. Information such as how to play and a list of stickers will be updated from time to time. And here is a table of contents and we have about Peton Battle. So first things first, here are a few assets from the data download. And this is kind of like a Peton Battle machine. I think the idea is that we're playing the game, we're playing Peton Battle off this like little console thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, but that's, uh, you know, what I gathered from it. Okay, so there's the machine. Here is like your collection with your little stickers and uh, each character is going to be a sticker you can use in battle. And uh, the event date is starting from March 22nd. So that is about a week away. And I'm assuming it's going to be a permanent event, but it could also be kind of seasonal like uh, you know, explosive chain battles and stuff like that. We're not really sure right now, but it's starting on March 22nd. And the overview here, it's like an incremental game battle where you battle with enemies using deformed characters or stickers. And by deformed characters, they mean, you know, like the chibi style that they use for the sticker um, art, right? So what is a seal? The sticker can be obtained so when they say seal, I think that means sticker. A sticker can be obtained by opening the sticker data. The first sticker you get will be registered in your collection. The sticker you have can be used for battles in Peton Battle, and the sticker once used for the battle will disappear. The used sticker will not disappear from the collection. So uh, I guess from the start, you're getting stickers from the sticker data, which I think is kind of like summoning, you know, summoning for units, except you're like summoning for uh, stickers. And I'm assuming it also doesn't cost anything. I think it's like a free to play thing. And uh, once you get a sticker, it's gonna be in your collection. And if you use the sticker in battle, then the sticker will, will disappear in that specific battle, but it will still remain in your collection. And of course your collection is just a uh, you know collection of all the stickers you have collected up to that point. Uh, after that, we have display contents of the sticker. So power, or I guess power level, attack power, two names and a character name are displayed on the table of each sticker. You can check the front and back of each sticker from the picture book and sticker details. You can check the front and back of each sticker from the sticker details. The information that can be confirmed from the back is as follows. Attribute, power, two names. When it says two names, I think that's just like the title of the character, you know how like every unit has like a title and then the character name. So I think that's what the two names is. And then character name, and then place to obtain in Dokkan Battle, and then the seal number. Various stickers will be added in the future. So right now, we know of 37 stickers 
that will be available at launch and then of course in the future there will be more and more stickers added to uh you know this mode how to get stickers there are three main ways to obtain seal data or stickers one obtained by clearing the battle or clearing battles two daily login bonus to pet on battle and three clearing a specific mission and the seal data will be uh, open automatically when you enter pet on battle please note that the package cannot be opened anywhere else you can randomly obtain one sticker from the sticker data so once again sticker data i think it's just like kind of summoning for stickers and uh I, I don't think it's gonna cost anything i hope at least um in, in my mind this is a completely free-to-play mode all right and there are uh, like i said 37 different stickers we know about broken down into four rarities bronze silver gold and platinum and of course the better the rarity the better the uh, actual sticker so here's a full list let's actually pop over to this uh, separate page here to give you guys a look at like all the different stickers so here is a super saiyan goku here is a first form frieza and as you guys can tell i mean if you um you know have like a decent amount of cards in this game then you'll probably recognize most if not all of these as existing cards in the game already just in HEB form, right? Like this Namek Goku, this uh, Kaioken Goku, the two LRs are the free to play prime battle LRs. Um, we have like this uh, Goten, or sorry, Gohan. We have this Vegeta. These are the two 50% int supports. Full power Frieza, Bono form Frieza. Like, yeah, these are all just. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the background, but I think somebody fell. Hope they're okay. Anyways, uh. <laughs> We're gonna continue. Uh, we have um, Ginyu here. We have another base Goku. Like, yeah, these are all just cards in this game in a chibi form that they've turned into stickers, which is kind of smart because, like, they already have these existing arts, right? So I guess they didn't have to modify them too much. Probably t didn't take, like, as much time as it would have to make completely new arts uh, for these guys, but that's totally fine with me. I think they look great. And uh, yeah, this is just the art. There should be some like other information like power level and all that stuff displayed on the sticker as well in the actual mode, right? So uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a quick look at all of the, you know, Galdo, Jace, uh, Gohan, Krillins, and uh, you know, Yamcha, uh, we got Tien, so on and so forth. It looks like the first pack is gonna be a uh, Namek Saga themed pack. So yeah, 31, 32, 33, 34, Dodoria, I got Kui here, and 36, and 37. So yeah, those are all the stickers that we currently know about. I'm pretty sure these are all the ones that will be obtainable upon the you know, game mode's launch. And uh, now let's pop over to, or pop back to uh, the event information here. So what is a collection? A collection is a record of the stickers you have won. The stickers you will you get will be automatically registered in the collection. And the automatically registered sticker information will not be deleted from the collection even if the sticker is consumed. The collection is divided by bullets. So I'm assuming like maybe different rarities or different categories. And then bullets will continue to be added. Also oh, maybe it's like they'll filter it by like different sagas, right? Like Namek Saga, Android Saga, Cell Saga, um, Boo Saga, and maybe if they add like, you know, Dragon Ball Super stuff, then different arcs in, in Super as well. Maybe, not really sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Uh, you can check the details of the sticker by tapping the icon. From the collection, you can check the following information by tapping the registered sticker icon. Attribute, rarity, power, two names. Um, character name, obtaining a place in Dokkan Battle, so where you get it, and then seal number. If you have already, already obtained it, the sticker will be displayed. If you have not obtained it, the sticker number will be displayed. You can check the collection rate of stickers from the achievement level. The collection of all stickers is complete, is displayed. So there should be some kind of like a progress bar or something that shows you how many stickers that you have out of the total number of available stickers. And then once you collect all the stickers, then it will show complete as opposed to the progress bar. About the battle. 
You can battle by placing any number of friendly stickers against the enemy stickers placed on the field selection map. You don't have to defeat your, your opponent all at once in battle. When the battle is over, the enemy will take over the state until the end of the previous battle. There are, uh, oh, these are the following ways to take over the battle. 1. Retire the battle that is taking place. Or 2. Defeat the battle. So I think when they say take over the battle, they mean to win the battle, right? So the two ways you win, or rather, I guess, end the battle, is either retire, so quit, or you, you know, defeat the enemy and win the battle. Please note that if you return to the field selection map from the field, the battle status will not be inherited. Um, if you return to the field selection map from the field, the battle status will not be inherited. Not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, that's a little bit confusing to me. Okay, battle method. Up to five stickers can be placed on one stage at a time. The stickers used in the battle will disappear after the battle regardless of whether you win or lose. Stickers that have completed an attack during the battle will be displayed in a grayed out state. When the battle time reaches zero, you can check the result from the battle check. If defeated, the enemy will take over the state of the previous battle. You can check the end time of the battle from the stage screen slash battle details confirmation screen. The strength of the enemy can be divided into the following four difficulties. Super, Z hard, hard, and normal, just like stages in uh, you know the actual Dokkan game, right? The strength of the enemy is divided according to those difficulty levels, so please refer to it when you challenge. For enemy HP, the total number of enemy seal characters that have been organized is displayed in the upper bar. Over damage. If the total power of the formation seal characters or sticker characters exceeds the total HP of the enemy, over damage will occur. However, if you defeat the enemy with only over damage, the enemy's HP will remain for one hour. So this is a little bit weird, it's a little bit confusing, but what I'm thinking, like based on my understanding, it's uh, basically saying that, you know, even if you kill your enemy, you like immediately, you know, if you like one shot them or whatever, uh, if you over damage them, then you will still have to wait for a minimum of one hour before you can, I guess, like pull out of the battle and get your rewards. That's what I'm getting from this. I could be wrong. As I said in the beginning of this video, man, the stuff is kind of confusing. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's hard to visualize because we don't have the actual mode to reference. So if we get more information in the near future, I'll do a follow up. If not, then obviously we'll just check out the game mode once it actually becomes available, right? Um, we have here attribute and damage increase slash decrease. Each sticker character has its own attributes. The compatibility is as follows. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all of this, but essentially it's like the same uh, mechanic or same system in Dokkan where there's type advantages. So each of these stickers will have their own attribute, STR, AGL, uh, tech, int, and fizz. And of course, STR is strong against fizz, fizz is strong against int, int is strong against uh, tech, tech is strong against AGL, and it's just that like, you know, uh, color wheel or whatever that we have in Dokkan. If it is an advantageous attribute, the damage will increase, and if you attack an unfavorable attribute, unfavorable attribute, the damage dealt will decrease. Uh, characters with a rarity of silver or higher will have a super or pull extreme attribute. So there's also super and extreme, except uh, only silver or higher uh, rarity characters will have that super or extreme attribute. And uh, essentially, super and extreme uh, cards or, or stickers are effective against each other. Uh, battle end and reward. There are two ways to end the battle. One, finish the attack of all stickers and see the battle result, and two, tap retire on the battle details confirmation screen to end the current battle. Rewards can be obtain or, or, or sorry, uh, rewards can be earned when you clear the stage, except for retirement. So if you quit, if you retire, then you don't get rewards. Uh, uh, rewards are divided into two types: one, confirmed items, and two, random drop items. So there's two different ways to get rewards I guess. I think I think this might just be a way to classify them. I'm not really sure if there's like a different method to get confirmed items and random drop items. And uh, we have, oh, com oh. <laughs> okay, there's an explanation here. Confirmed item. By clearing the battle, you can get all the items displayed in the confirmed items 
and random drop items. Random drop items can be randomly obtained from the list by clearing the battle. I don't know what the difference is to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it, I think that it's just two different ways to classify your rewards, but it seems like it's the same method to actually obtain random drop items and confirmed items. And finally, regarding pets on battle, I described it based on the in-game information, but it is uh, difficult to grasp, understand the whole outline of pets on battle only with the help content. So basically what I said earlier in this video, you know, it's kind of confusing right now. So don't worry if you don't understand everything. We will update it as soon as future updates and additional data becomes available. So uh, yeah, there we go guys. That is everything we know about uh, Pet on Battle at this moment in time. If that was very confusing to you, I understand a, you know, kind of short like TLDR or TLDW, too long didn't watch version, if you guys skip to the, bat, uh, to the end of this video, I guess, is that it's kind of like a card slash sticker battle system, but it's like a passive system. So essentially you can get your stickers, and then you use these stickers in battle, you set your stickers against enemies, and then uh, you know, after a set period of time, you can check if you won the battle or you lost the battle. There's like other things in, uh, involved in there, like you know, the power level of your cards or your stickers, and also the type of advantages that you have. And um, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. And in terms of rewards, uh, from what I saw, it's pretty basic right now. It's like Zenny, I think potential orbs, uh, training items and awakening medals or something like that like you know basic like resources they can use in the regular Dokkan game and uh, maybe in the future there will be better rewards maybe there'll be Kai's maybe there'll be Dragonstones and stuff like that but right now uh, I haven't seen Dragonstones as a potential reward but uh, I could be wrong so you know don't necessarily hold me to that but uh, yeah that's that's essentially it man oh the last thing I do want to show you guys or uh, have you guys listen to are the uh, OSTs, you know, the, the soundtrack for this Peton Battle mode. Shout out to Air Dokkan for posting these on his uh, Twitter page. And they sound really, really freaking good. So I'm gonna pause my own music here for a second. And uh, let's just go through these. Okay, so we'll start with this one right here. I think volume is good. Here we go. Okay, so you guys, you guys get the idea. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then we have this other one here. And here we go. So there you go, guys. The two OSTs that we uh, have for Peton Battle, at least to start, and they sound great. They sound fantastic. So great job to Bandai slash Akatsuki once again for that. They, they've been killing it, honestly, with the uh, OSTs recently for like new units and also this game mode. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm excited for Peton Battle. I'm looking forward to it for sure. I'm just kind of still a little bit um, not super clear, I guess, on some of the details involving, especially the battle system. I'm not really sure, like, exactly how that's going to work. A few of the, you know, parts, like the phrasing kind of confuses me. So, um, you know, we'll have to see exactly how that works. But at least I think anybody watching this video should have, like, a general idea, should, like, know about the basic premise of the mode. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's something that's like definitely very different. It's, it's fresh, which is something that Dokkan has needed for a while. And uh, I hope that, you know, it turns out to, to be either really fun or at least be like not a painful 
a game mode to do on a regular basis like some other things like uh you know chain battle or something like that that we have like i mean let's be honest chain battle is cool for the rewards but that mode is awful in so many ways so yeah a lot of hope a lot of uh very very optimistic about pets on battle that's everything we know so far let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it or maybe you're super confused let me know about that too and uh, hopefully if you are confused then i can provide some follow-up information in the near future to uh, clarify everything and uh, the release date is march 22nd so regardless we won't have to wait too long to experience it for ourselves and uh, this is coming to jp first but global will probably get it i would say within a couple months like you know one and a half two months or so um that's what i'm hoping at least fingers crossed we'll have to see but uh yeah guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely oh i just realized i don't have any music right now let me let me turn that back on <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you like the video, like the damn video. If you are new to the channel, then uh, sub to the channel, of course. Smash that big red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to let YouTube know you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.